So from one time or another, we all need to collect information about people in our lives, perhaps our colleagues. If you're educators, perhaps you want to collect information about your students that are taking a class in a particular semester. And if you're using a learning management system like Blackboard or Moodle, you may find that the interface and the system itself isn't the best at tracking that information or getting it to a usable form uh, that you can manipulate, say, for example, a uh, uh, Excel document. Perhaps the best way to go about collecting this sort of information would be to use something like Google Documents and creating a Google form within Google Documents uh, because you have so much control over the information that you're collecting. But if you're just looking for a very fast and easy way to collect, say, basic contact information, Postable is a great option. I should add the caveat, if you're thinking of using this system as a way to capture information of your students, every institution has their own views on that, and I will let you decide, um, as adults and educators, uh, whether this is an appropriate tool. So first, to get started using Postable, you'll need to sign up. After you've signed up, Postable will give you a custom URL, and this is what you are going to send to, say, your colleagues in an email, or if, again, you deem it appropriate, your students in a learning management system, such as Blackboard. Postable will also send you that information in the form of an email address, so keep that handy and be sure to archive it. When your friends, colleagues, or students go to the address, they'll be able to now fill out a form. And note that they don't have to fill out every form field except the zip code, and that's going to be important in just a moment. Those filling out your form get a quick look at their information and they can go back and edit if they need to change anything. And now you have the information nicely formatted in an address you can refer to again and again. You can also export this information in several different formats and that's what we're going to look at next. Because you don't have to fill out every form field and because you can easily export the data into a file format like Excel that's readily manipulatable, you might choose to use Postable in a way that the creators perhaps never envision that you use it to collect custom information. Now there are better ways to do, do this, I think. Uh, using Google Documents uh, and creating a Google Form allows you to create customized fields. But if you don't want to get into any of that, you want to just quickly create a URL that you can send to colleagues, friends, students, etc., and collect specific information, this might be a way to do it code is mandatory, so if that raises your privacy alarms, Postable might not be the best solution for you. With all the contact information, I'm going to download it as an Excel file and open it up in Excel. Any fields in Excel, or columns in this case, that I don't find to be relevant or for which I did not collect information. And finally, I can change the title header information. So in this case, I'm going to change this to section. At this point, I can save the document and I can use any of the tools that are built in Excel to sort or manipulate the data. This, again, isn't the best way to go about this. So in another tutorial, I'm going to talk a little bit how, how to use Google Forms uh, to extract specific customized information. Uh, that you can embed in a web page or in your learning management system of choice and that data then is automatically ported to a spreadsheet that is built within Google Documents. But that is a tutorial for another time.